Good afternoon, friends. I'm Colonel Failure, and this is American Tree Simulator. Yeah, I just brought you in uh, for uh, for you know the the fact that I really kind of love the trees. There we go. Um, yes, we are we are here, and this is it's not American Tree Simulator. No. Although there should be an American tree simulator. It's transport fever. Uh, yes, we are. Here we go. Uh, the NDA dropped literally a second ago. And, uh, and as such, uh, uh, I'm, I'm here. I'm prepped. I'm coiled. Things are happening. Um, all right. Okay, so uh, I'm taking the helmet off. Goodbye, helmet. Someone, exclamation mark, stream helmet. Um, there we go. Hello, everybody. Well, it's quite full in here today. Uh, so perhaps unsurprisingly, we're all we're all looking forward to seeing this uh, the, this exciting new game. Um, I've been playing it for the last month and a half, I guess, and uh, yeah, it's um, terrific. It's a it's a yeah, it's a great update to Train Fever. Hold on, hold on. Mental note: the NDA is over. I can I can tell you anything that I know. I know very little. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's a it's a vast improvement over the uh, over the the original. Uh, let's do a let's do a let's do a tour, shall we? Uh, I have nothing built, right? If you want to see um, the the setup of this map, uh, it's up on YouTube now. <laughs> I prep these things to all happen at the same time, and obviously you can't watch both. There is no, no no real gameplay as such. There's just some early tips on the uh, on my YouTube channel right now. So this is a large map. Uh, we're using the um, uh, the one to three uh, ratio. So it's a it's a long map. So if I zoom right the way out here, you can see the edges, right? So we got one edge there, one edge there. Now you have you have a choice of one to one, so you end up with a square. Uh, you also have one to two. And uh, and you also have one to three, uh, so this is a one to three. So a very long map. Um, and why America? Because I figured that uh, that based on the the other the kind of YouTubists and and uh, and streamers and the like who were on board with the beta, that uh, that there was there was quite a leaning towards um, uh, Europeans. And as much as I'm, you know, quite obviously European myself, uh, I, I figured I'd go American just to be, you know, a little bit different. So, uh, so is this to be a series? Thank you, uh, Matto. Yeah, it's a great question to ask. And the basic answer is, if I don't go bankrupt, yes. Um, going bankrupt, however, is quite likely because uh, I am yet to uh, to come up with uh, a means of of making consistent cash without just sitting here for like four hours going I made three thousand dollars last year result so yeah uh, there, there does need to be a little bit of a little bit of patience in in making cash early on so right enough talk although there will obviously be you know talk aplenty uh, we will instead yeah, stop teasing, start playing. Good man. Right, so what I'm looking for initially, I've done, I've tried starting with goods, I've tried, tried starting with road-based stuff. What I've not tried starting with is passengers. Uh, and uh, what I'm looking for are two cities that are close together on virtually the same height. No, that's terrible. Indianapolis, Henderson, not today. Warren to Boston. Let's have a look at that. That's the one, I think. Yeah, Warren to Boston looks good. It, it, it would be a slam dunk if there were um, uh, a goods opportunity nearby, but there currently isn't. Okay, right. So let's. Uh, yeah, uh, destroying a main uh, a main connection. We're going to do that immediately. So there we go. Let's smash that up. Right. It doesn't complain. I haven't got any special rules turned on or anything along those lines. I just you know whacked it and it's gone. What you get now is uh, alerts under the top corner here, which says that the town authorities are currently complaining about interrupted street connections between Warren and a quarry. And you know what? I don't care. Um, yeah, I do. You know, who gives them monkeys? Uh, 
So we'll do that, and that will add another alert on there. Yeah, Warren and the Machine Factory, they're all a little bit, you know, oh, what have you done? Why have you taken that away? That was that was loud. Uh, okay, no, game, game volume down. Working on it. Thank you, chaps. Uh, Bing bonk. Uh, where are you? Master one. Sound effects. Let's drop that to, like, two. Uh, voiceover. Who knows? I've never heard a voiceover. Uh, how's this? Yes? No? Yes? Uh, try the contour lines. Okay. I don't use them, but I know that people are interested. Uh, also, if I had used contour lines, I would have been able to spot immediately that uh, that I was I was relatively flat. So there you go. <sighs> Flashing is going to drive you nuts. What in the top corner? <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, it could well do. Too quiet now. Oh, brilliant. Okay, well, you know, let's uh, let's crank the master. No, let's cr leave the master alone, and then let's crank that up to like seven and see how we get on there. I'll delete another bit of road. We might as well get the sound right before we kick off. Ready? There you go. Let me know. Um, so bump it up a bit more. There we go. Right. I'll, I'll crank it back up to there. And, uh, and look, I want to build some stuff, right? Music. For some reason, the music's not playing. Um, there is a whole suite of new stuff from Admiral James T. And although it was a little bit, uh, a little bit cheesy, um, and uh, a little bit twee, uh, I flipping love it. Uh, <laughs> I can't explain why. Just do. Uh, right. Let's let's build. There we go. First road. Um, now, early on in the beta, this was actually quite. Uh, it was quite challenging to uh, to get roads. Uh, to snap to anything, uh, collisions were rampant. Now this, I mean, that was that was early in the build, but uh, uh, but now it is it is much more much more relaxed about allowing you to play stuff. Uh, likewise, let's get another one over here. Uh, except, what do I want to do here? I think I want to square this off. No, yeah, I'm afraid no music. There will be music in uh, in the uh, the YouTube side of things because uh, I can obviously mix that properly afterwards. We're not ready to smooth. Plus, smoothing is expensive, um, so we we'll, we will we'll, we will leave the smoothing for another time. Although chances are, I will not be able to resist doing so at some point. So let's uh, let's just bash that to there and then uh, there. There we go. Such drama over a right angle, but, but there you have it. Okay, so I want to build a line that is as straight as I can possibly make it, because uh, speed is absolutely everything. And early on, as I'm sure you can probably imagine, we're in, what, 1853 right now? Early on, trains are not quick, and I, I can already feel that I'm going to uh, have to bump up my loan. Which I really, really don't want to do. Uh, okay, there'll there'll be there will be there will be smoothing, um, much like there will be blood. Uh, right, let's station time. There we go, station time. All right, so stations. You know the the cool thing that's changed about these is you can upgrade them after they've been placed. And also, if I zoom in a touch, the snapping works a little differently now. Uh, so as you rotate the thing, it will actually bend the road to try and make a connection. Now, snapping is a little bit less uh, intuitive, I guess, than it was before. But now it's it's uh, it's a little bit more flexible when when being placed in the first place, and that's you know decidedly helpful. So at this end, ah, oh, no, okay, but let's talk about that as well. So as you can see, when I put the station down. Some of the buildings turn grey. Uh, the reason those buildings have turned grey is it's uh, it's showing me the the catchment area for the station itself. So if I uh, if I place that again, you'll see we've got we've got a catchment yeah, catchment area there. So that's as far away as people are prepared to walk to the station. If I want them to come from any further afield, they are going to have to get some public transport, which is fine because I'm intending to offer plenty of public transport. Uh, there we go. Uh, uh, how the heck are, are the buffers working on mine? I don't know. Uh, you know, the, the buffers, they're just 250 viewers. Goodness gracious me. Well, it's lovely to see you all. Hello. Um, 
Uh, I'll I'll try and crack on, but you know we got you know the questions and the distraction and uh, oh that's new as well. Uh, yes, catchment areas are really useful. They're a bit of a burden, but it, it allows it, a bit of a burden in the sense that uh, no longer do you assume that uh, the entire town is being swept up into your into your your, your train station, uh, or then it works the same for for buses and trucks and so forth as well. But um, uh, it does at least allow you to see where an effective placement for, you know, in-town transport would actually take place. There we go. So I'm going to stick a regular kind of station here. Uh, the other cool thing that these now do, once we've got that placed, uh, is you can upgrade it. So I can add more tracks, uh, or more platforms, I should say, uh, as we go. There we are. Let's zoom in a little bit. So if I want to up it to eight, I can do that. Add a second street connection, I can do that. It's like magic. It's you know, it's it's effectively voodoo, right? Um, uh, but you know, we're not going to do any of that right now because that's going to cost me half a million. Uh, the the other cool thing that it will do um, is uh, what's the other cool thing it will do? It will auto bulldoze. Uh, for you, so if you lay, uh, if you if you want to put a, an upgrade on top, patience, mush, terminus coming up. Um, uh, yeah, so if you want to, um, uh, you know, lay it over the top of buildings that already exist, or you want to upgrade and there's been stuff built in and around your station already, now you can. Uh, right. Anyway, let's. Uh, yeah, I don't want a second street connection right now. Let's just leave that alone because it's set up. Right, so for my next trick, we're going to place the station at the other end. And because Boston is out in the middle of nowhere, uh, this one's going to be a terminal. So here's the terminal. Uh, exactly the same kind of dealio. There we go. Uh, is this the best angle to look at it? Yeah, it looks a little bit forlorn when it's only got one track. But, you know, you can, you can well imagine that over time that will... Uh, that will expand out. Uh, what I want to do is give it somewhere to, to latch on to down there. And there we go. So there's a terminus. So so instead of having the good hell, I mean, that, yeah, no, 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 none of that. I want you around about here. So I, this is something else that turned up in um, uh, yeah, early on in, in the beta is the, the the kind of the auto laying is a bit of a savage. Uh, it will go, yep, no problem. We'll effectively build a pyramid for you underneath. Oh, and then afterwards, uh, you won't be allowed, able to align the terrain. No, uh, that, we're not going to do that. In fact, this will work. There we go. That's even a bit closer together. So let's try and point them at each other in some you know vain hope of trying to get. A relatively straight, uh, straight line going here. That's not as in town as I might like. See, I'd quite like it there. And there you go. You can see the effect of it. it, it, it you know, offering to to bulldoze stuff. So if you know, if you're if you're not a fan of bulldozing, or, I mean, firstly, what's wrong with you? But uh, but secondly, you don't have to. The, the game will do it for you. But I want to find a I want to find a nice flat bit because every every dollar counts at this stage. 150 grand. I mean, come on. Do me a favour. Alright, we'll take the... Uh, where did that 139 go? Do I care that much? No, I probably don't. There we go, 141. That'll do nicely. So, uh, once you've placed it, uh, you can still look at the catchment area by just clicking on, this, on the uh, station itself. So, there is the opportunity for a nice kind of commuter route here. Now, this approach, I have not... Yeah, put a, I mean, squares are good and as good as smoothing. I felt I thought like putting it inside the square, but no, I want to save some money. Um, and also, if I put it inside the square, all of this stuff here would be in the catchment area. And I don't want to do that because I want to make a few extra quid here and there from uh, from flogging tickets on my high quality bus services. Trams be damned. Right. Okay. So, conventional wisdom. Uh, in a in a train fever sense, and I need to be careful with this, would say you just do a bit of that, right? And it'll figure it out as it goes. It hasn't figured it out as it goes. Instead, it's decided, well, you know, here you go, Chief. Uh, have yourself a bridge, because, you know, obviously. And, uh, and that'll cost you a million and a half quid. 
I'm too. I, I need to slow down. Okay, I should. I will. I'll. I'll endeavour not to go quite so fast. You'll see lots of this stuff all over and over and over and over again. Um, don't worry. Uh, but you know, there we go. So yeah, it's way too expensive uh, to to place it all in one go. Uh, likewise, I go into tunnels and bridges and the like. If you watch the first um, the first episode up on my YouTube channel. Uh, so rather than, than repeating that, I shall just crack on. Now, 60 grand to get that far is actually actually pretty respectable, and I've possibly curved it just a little more than I actually needed to. There we go. So uh, let's continue onwards. So yeah, if you're moving Earth around, so, you know, see we've, uh, we've sunk in here, or if we build... Uh, earthworks over the top, it's not ideal. Uh, we're working in uh, kilometers an hour, uh, just so as you know, because I didn't change the setting. Uh, so I'm in America, but America has chosen to, uh, to, to you know, adopt the metric system, finally getting with a, a scientific unit of measurement rather than sticking with imperial. The other thing uh, to, to try and keep in mind when you're laying down track initially is keep it flat if you know if you absolutely You know unless unless you absolutely have to change your your inclination your declination and what have you uh, Then um, yeah, try and keep your track flat Now here's the point where it's going to tell me there's too much slope We'll, we'll find out presently There we go. So we've got a bit of slope coming into the station I and mean, that's not cheap but uh, you know you've you, know, you run with what you're given, um, but we have fundamentally got ourselves a track. All right, uh, here we go. Uh, first look at the stats for the day, children. Okay, we've uh, we've spent six hundred and fifty grand on construction in total. <laughs> so yeah, we're out of pocket uh, pretty significantly. Um, I'll have a look at the options. Hold on, we'll see if we can switch to MPH. Uh, graphics, no, no. I'm, I'm guessing. Yeah, everything's, uh, you know, turned up. Uh, no, we, we can't change the, uh, the, the, the unit of measurement. Unfortunately, I'll, I'll do it. I'll, I'll, if I, if I reload at some point, we'll, we'll do that. So next up, we're going to bang a depot, and it's going to be, a, it's going to be a, a swifty depot. This one. Uh, I want to give a little bit of space uh, before placing the depot. You can just bang a depot straight on the end. Uh, there we go. Spin it around. And I mean, that's kind of nice that, that depots this time around actually look like they might conceivably hold a train uh, rather than those kind of sheds um, <laughs> in the last uh, in the last game. Um, I want to give it a little bit of space because I will double track this as soon as I can afford to do so. It won't be soon. Uh, so right, let's get that on there. Let's uh, let's depot up. Right, we've got we've got everything we need. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna what am I gonna do? I'm gonna set up in in internal commuter routes before buying the train. Um, not that those commuter routes will actually accomplish much uh, until there is a, a reason for them to kind of traverse the city, uh, but because once I buy the train, there's no going back. Uh, likewise, I'm still on pause right now. There you go. Whoa, 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 whoa. And concentrate. Do not for a moment think that you can just... See, look, if I pulled that over, that's 150, 175 grand that it's going to try and deduct from my meager bank account there uh, so you know you want to keep your wits about you otherwise you'll you'll find yourself skint before you you've even got going this game is very keen on taking all of the money you have off you immediately uh, can I change my account can't see the money hold on well let's do this for a bit uh, like that there we go you can see everything now for a little while uh, I'll reappear a little later on um, uh, there you go, see, you know, now I'm just a disembodied voice talking out into the internet. Business as usual then. Um, right, so yeah, I want to set a, uh, uh, I want to set a commuter route up. 
early on. Now, commuter route obviously is going to work in a very similar way to uh, the uh, the train in that all stations have a catchment area, all stops, I should say, have a catchment area. Too much curvature. Get used to that sucker. Uh, yeah, see, so much like the stations, this uh, this bus stop, you know, well, bus and tram, I guess, but it will try and curve a little as you use it. I'm not really showing this off to its best effect, but you know, it's got a kind of a, a more thoughtful snap to it, um, which is a little trickier to use, but I think it gives you a bit more flexibility. So you'll see that when I place this bus stop, it will also highlight the station to say that that's in the catchment area as well. Handy. Right, okay, I'm going to place a nice big one here. Do I need a nice big one? Well, they're not expensive, he said. In about half an hour, I'll run out of money, and then uh, and then we'll all be laughing. Um, that, you know, there will be the, the ho 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 going on. So I want to, you know, we're going to pull that up first so that we keep the catchment area kind of on display while we figure out where I'm going to stick the other stops. So everything drives on the right. Everything drives on the right. Everything is on the right. Okay, fine. I have to tell myself that multiple times, otherwise, I end up putting everything in the wrong place. Uh, right, we'll stick the first one here. Now, that's kind of a, a mishmash commercial. In fact, that's a bit of everything. Fine. Now, if that doesn't yield enormous amounts of demand, I, I will, you know, I'll be suitably um, disappointed in, in the world. Uh, and then we'll stick. I don't want to catch that middle bit there. And hopefully the, the, the town will expand relatively swiftly uh, so that we can, uh, we can make a few more bucks as they start to, uh, as they start to grow. Okay, right, there you go. Yeah, that's about as simple a route as you can get. Uh, let's now bang a new line on. And we'll start with the yellow line. Why the hell not? And we're going Upper Warren. Where is Warren? Are there, are there any US natives out there? Where, where, which state is Warren in? I mean, I would imagine it's that kind of uh, kind of a name. It could it could conceivably live in multiple uh, multiple different places. Uh, right, there we go. Let's do a bit of that. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, right, so we're going to call this uh, War Commuter. For those who don't. Commuter, very nice. For those who don't follow my regular Train Fever series, uh, that's my standard. Um, uh, I am now a faceless corporate executive. Very true, I am. I'm, uh, I'm terribly corporate, terribly executive. Um, yeah, a War Commuter there is, uh, what am I talking about? Yeah, that's my standard naming convention. Yeah, War, short for Warren. See? There you go. I, I can come back anytime you like, but you were all complaining about not being able to see the money. Um, so, you know, what do you want from me? You, you can either see the money or you can see me at present. I need to do some jiggery pokery in order to move stuff around, and, and frankly, the, the odds of that, you know, destroying the stream entirely is, you know, relatively high. So I will, I will consider this. There's a Warren in Ohio. Thank you very much, Sammy Red Flame. I'm not going to put a, I'm not going to put a depot there. We'll, we'll stick a depot outside town, I think. There we go. Right, so that's my depot placed. Now, before I go buying vehicles willy-nilly, we'll uh, we'll get the other one done as well. So the goal here, obviously enough, is going to be to um, uh, to you know grab as many fine fine folk as we can from in and around uh, the uh, in and around the town, drag them to the station, stick them on a train, take the money ferry them to the other side and then they get out and uh, they then get on another bus we take some more money off them and uh, and that is capitalism that's that's the goal here right uh, let's chuck a chuck a bus stop or two I think this one's gonna be a slightly shorter route if I'm honest but you know that just means fewer trains everything drives on the right uh, let's there, that feels that feels like a sound investment, uh, and then we'll we'll rock it around the corner. Do a bit of that. 
which leaves this this interstitial area with with not a lot of choice. So I'll I'll stick one there just because I'm feeling charitable. Uh, right, let's root it up and one of those. Now at the moment I'm not going to bother doing an anti-clockwise as well. We'll we'll stick with you know just just doing a swifty loop and, and hope that people get into it. So this is uh, boss commuter, and it is a boss. Um, it is a bit of a wasteland, uh, and and to be honest, I'm I'm very much looking forward to uh, to skinning some trains um, uh, and other vehicles in such a way that uh, it looks like they've you know they've come from they've come from the apocalypse. Uh, now here's here's a here's a tip for you. By the time you ferry a bunch of wagons up here to start traipsing around this route, the amount of maintenance you've paid is the same as having built a, uh, a depot and then deleted it again, potentially. So, uh, you know, spend the money. See, look, you know, 11 grand for a depot, 12 grand for a depot, some grand for a depot. What the heck? There you go. I'll, I'll, I'll make a bit of a reappearance for a bit. Uh, and, uh, once we get rolling, I'll, uh, I'll I'll put the money back up. But you know, we'll 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 up it and down it. There is a Warren in Australia too. That would be quite the commute, though, wouldn't it? Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go out on a out on a limb and suggest that it probably isn't Australia's Warren. So here we go. Hey, look, first vehicles. How terribly exciting! And look, transparency. It's like the modern age. Um, yeah, horse wagon. Now, this horse wagon uh, can carry cargo. We're not doing cargo yet. Let's, let's just do passengers. But what we can do is we can turn our cart. Colonel Failure's famous orange, as colours go. It's it's a fine, fine colour to choose. And we will go with uh, one, two, two, two. All right, OK, so you're going on boss commuter. Get to work, all right? Good. That's that one, and then we shall uh, we shall do similar down here. No, that's that's a train depot. You can tell it's attracted to a train track. Uh, by road vehicle. We have had this and Colonel's famous orange. Uh, one, two. Yeah, we'll set that one on war commuter. Right. Let's let's put these things in motion, and I'll show you something else that's cool. So let's get these uh, these guys out and rolling. Now, the feature I am about to demonstrate was introduced about three days ago. Uh, here we go. Brace yourselves. Enter cockpit. Riding on my wagon, we're driving through the town. Yes, there we go. You can now have, uh, you know, a bit of a bit of an exciting wagon action. We can we can take in the sights and the sounds and the the glorious vista uh, of, uh, <laughs> of the routes that you've built. You know, we can do a drive-by shooting on this this nice pair of cloned gentlemen over there. Uh, there you go. Music video alert. Bush. Music video alert. Um, yeah, there we go. Don't, for some reason, they seem to have developed a skip. Uh, in 1850, somewhat, uh, be some sort of some sort of silo. Going. I don't know where this chap's going. He's he's had enough. He's gone. I'm leaving, Daphne. I am going into the wilderness. I will not be returning. What you need, mate, is to jump on the back of my cart. Give me some money, and it's all good. Um, there you go. Uh, let's run him over. Oi, jump on. Only a fiver, and we'll take you down to the station, uh, the bus stop. There's a tree that looks like some kind of crouching, uh, crouching gentleman. Right? As you do. Uh, there you go. So yeah, you can ride along on these things all day long. Uh, it doesn't really seem bumpy enough for an unsealed road. Do you really want a camera angle where it's going all the time? No, I would. I would suggest you possibly don't. Anyway, there we go. So uh, we've got that, and look, and the wagon is is a, a rather fantastic orange in nature. I can't get any closer than that. Let's, uh, let's follow this sucker. I, I mean, we're, we're celebrating a, a horse and cart here. I mean, you know, we we really are tremendously excited by by just about everything. It doesn't sh currently show you the passenger count. No, it has been requested, but uh, it currently does not show passenger count. 
you find my lack of choo-choo disturbing. I will be building the choo-choos momentarily. Let me just, so we're hit, we've hit end of year, all right? And now I'm gonna show you the, the, I'm gonna show you something amazing, right? You ready for this? This button is the greatest button in the world. This button right here. This button allows you to turn things off, right? If you don't want to see the floating red text of how much stuff costs at the end of every month, press that, you don't see it anymore. Best button ever. Can't be bothered seeing train stops. No, no, stations and, and what have you. Kill it. Just press the button, it disappears. It's it's properly, properly cool. So you can turn everything off if you want. You don't have to see anything at all. Yeah. All that HUD gone. Right, now I have I have whizzed it up to max speed because I you know I want to get some progress happening. It's unlikely we're gonna get progress until I turn some trains on. Uh so uh, let's uh, let's just put those on for the time. In fact, let's just let's turn everything on for the moment. But the second I see red text, I'm turning it off. There you go. I see red text. Turning it off. No more red text. Okay. Let's uh, let's. Um, does it remove the sound of money rolling? I don't know. But that could be because I'm not completely familiar with the money sound coming in in the first place. Kaboom. Um, uh, right, okay, let's buy us a train. Let's slow, let's ease that down a touch. Well, it's going to be a Baldwin uh, to start with, because, uh, oh no, can't do that, sell it. Um, there you go, no, it did do the it did do the ping there. It, ah, and I got 172 back again. Okay, we can road test this. So we'll turn the income off, we'll buy it, and then it does. It did disable the sound as well. Gnarly. Uh, right. Got to paint it orange. Otherwise, you know, madness. Madness will happen. Uh, can I replace the connections without having to build a bypass? The, the, the connection's gone. Look, people are griping about it right now. Uh, Boston are fed up with a couple of things. Jacksonville's hacked off because they can't get to Boston anymore. Everybody's fed up with me. Stuff those guys. Uh, passenger car. Now... Normally, you would think, you know, in a train fever style situation, upgrade button in the depot. Yes, I think that's to add uh, electrification. So we don't have any uh, any upgrade options at present. Um, uh, yeah, now, the conventional wisdom at this point would be don't add too many passenger cars. You're not going to get that many passengers. This is a truism from... Uh, uh, can I build like three orange cars and one in blue, just to show it off? Certainly. I'm only gonna buy two for now, because uh, the one thing that I do, um, or that I've learned that's relatively successful, is, uh, uh, you know what goes well with orange, don't you? It's kind of a turquoisey teal sort of an idea. This is the, uh, the Michael Bay color scheme we're going to rock with. Um, likewise, you know what would be handy? If I set up a line. Um, a uh, new line uh, from this one to that one, right? Which is going to be called War Boss. Oh yeah, War Boss. Uh, ding, 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 ding. It's like War Bus, except not. All right, and we'll assign this chap. Well, the other thing you can do now is when you when you set a line, you can assign it to a. Uh, I bet I've told that to go to the wrong station, haven't I? Remove that. I told that to go to a bus stop. <laughs> there, please. Thank you. Uh, yeah, the other thing you can do is when hitting select... Hello? Right, stop, do stop doing that. Oh, I have I have vexed it. Oh, I, I might, need to, might need to bug report that one. All right, how am I going to fix this? I think we're going to call that up. Call this back up. Yeah, okay, I've done a bit of escape. No, escape's not doing it. Go in that, there we go. All right, I managed to uh, managed to lock the camera in reverse, which was exciting. Uh, admittedly, you know, the level of excitement was relatively low. As I have been trying to say, when setting a line, you have the option to create a new line immediately. Okay, there you go. We have deployed and train. There we go. Let's uh, let us skulk among the trees and note down its engine number as we go past.
there we go. I'd, uh, basically, the, the fix for that is uh, if you move in the same way as... No, I'd, I'd, I find if you move in the same way that the camera is trying to force it, it then stops it. Uh, they'll fix it. I have faith in them. They're German. They're very efficient. They'll, they'll get round to dealing with that. So as you can see, we've got uh, orange uh, for people who want to ride in the, uh, uh, the high-class coach, and then teal for those who don't deserve it. Uh, let's stick this on the follow, shall we? We got zero of 28 passengers, and now we have to we have to wait for the rot. And the rot is the rot is the money. Now, as you can see, we're we're getting up to a blistering pace here. In fact, if this thing goes any faster, we're going to travel back in time, um, even more so than we are already. Pretty cool cow catcher on the front. Oh, were that there were cows on the line for us to uh, shove, that would that would be fabulous. Is there a day-night cycle? No, there is not. There, there's no day-night. There's no uh, seasons. Same as before. It is what it is. What it is what it is. But if you think about it, uh, a day-night cycle, it would be like it's daytime. It's nighttime. It's daytime. It's nighttime. It's daytime. It's nighttime. It just wouldn't work. I could I could see. Um, uh, all vehicles now have drivers. Yes, good point. Uh, no firemen. No, he's, he's multitasking. As much as, and uh, I mean, this is this is maybe me being a bit picky. They all stand there like, I am driving this train. Well, look at it go. Because trains have steering wheels. Um, uh, yeah, he's just standing there, you know, checking out the clouds. Doesn't need to know where he's going. He's got track. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, if you ever wondered why I was terrible at American truck sims, because it drives like this. Oh yeah. Uh, there we go. So we're almost we're we're almost halfway there. Woohoo! Uh, let's take a quick squiz at uh, right. So this is a, it's a nine minute route with two four minute commuters either side. And have we made dollar one? Other than selling trains back, which we did for laughs, we have not made anything. <laughs> when this train hits 141.622 kilometers per hour, you're going to see some serious shit. Yes, indeed. Um, very good. Very good. The metric uh, take on Back to the Future. Uh, splendid. Bit of track. You know what we should be doing here? We should be driving the train. Everybody, please tilt your heads back. Well, it does make it slightly more difficult to see the uh, to see the screen. And for some reason, and because I did this track on the cheap, we've uh, that this is the cab view. This is the best you're going to get. It's effectively a camera stuck on the very front of the train. Um, it's not perfect, um, but it is. Uh, it's better than nothing, right? Um, so yeah, we'll we'll sit here and, and just you know and just enjoy enjoy the uh, uh, the ambiance of, of driving into the station. A GoPro, very good. Yes, Mono. Uh, yeah, we've got a GoPro on the front of the train. Uh, the bad company is here. We've got quite a few bad company members in here, um, and it's a, it's always a pleasure to see you on board. Uh, I'm not going to be naming routes in a bad company style just yet, but we will do uh, once the series full kicks off, assuming I don't go bankrupt soon. But, you know, we'll see. We will see. Uh, let's have a swifty beverage here. In fact, for those of you who have a screenshot leaning, let's make that, let's make that easier. Look at that. This is a high-octane screenshot environment you've got going on here. Bad company hype. Yes. You'd love to see a mount of you. Oh, I, 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 want, I haven't tried out um, uh, tunnels yet, so I've no idea. I, for one, assume you will go bankrupt. Thanks, Dearnan. Uh, I think I will too. Uh, how good is performance compared to train fever? Well, with any early build, it's always going to be just a smidge wonky, um, and if and it will become smoother over time. Um, 
So, uh, Gillard asked this question, and uh, Gillard uh, asked this question, um, and uh, as such, I wouldn't want to, to put a, a mark on it yet, but, and likewise, I haven't played until the late game, so I couldn't say for certain. There is a, uh, an end of month, uh, or rather an end of year, pausette, in the same way there always was, but the end of month, I haven't noticed it. That said, it did turn around, yes, it did turn around, it's not in reverse. Uh, I don't know if that's been added or not, but uh, there you go. And look at this, I've only had it a year and it's already scuffed. Flipping thing. There you go, and it's still got nobody on board. All right, I have to I have to know, have we got, there, we, there are passage. We have, uh, we have a passage waiting there for the commuter route. And we have uh, we have a, a passage there as well. What about the other end? Oh, look at this! This is like a thriving metropolis. And uh, uh, seven, seven passage, sept passage, avec carriage. Splendid! And look at them all. They they seem to be playing some kind of knee slappy game. How joyful for them! Meanwhile, you chap, you, uh, you two, you can wait for the next one. And you, there, strange neck chap. We go. Uh, let's see if it does give us any more information when we're on board. So we've got the speedo in the bottom corner, uh, bottom whatever that is, right? Uh, tells us the. It, it tells you the next station it's going to. Um, but there you go. It is not telling me how many passengers I've got. I would imagine they will add that relatively quickly. I can't see uh, it being particularly difficult. Uh, basically, Jalert, I didn't have too many difficulties with uh, with Train Fever's performance um, after the kind of the last couple of updates where they they really did work on on making it much more efficient. Um, uh, but it's too soon to tell. Is is the is the simple answer? Oh, what I want to do? I want to be on board this cart. Uh, with with some train action. The other thing you can't do while you're on the cart is uh, you can't um, uh, turn your head. You know, I'd love to be able to look that way. Yeah. Oh, Vista Magnificent. Or the other way. Uh, but there you go. Uh, je parle français. Yes, je parle franglais. Uh, which is part français, mostly anglais. Uh, all delivered with an authentic Saudi accent. Uh, right, here we go. We've got people waiting here now. Five people want to ride the war boss. Where is said war boss? Here we go, here we go. This is it. This is the one. This is No, no. Give me the give me the bus. Jump on. No, yeah. Yeah, jump on board. Right. It's like the opening of the Magnificent Seven with less Yul Brynner. Quite a lot less Yul Brynner. Unless this guy is a dead ringer for him. He's just, he's checking the sky out. Uh, checking the sky out. Uh, and, ah, and because I still have the station selected, or the, the bus stop selected, I'm also getting the highlighting going on there. Well, that will never do. Cease. In fact, what about this? Upper Warren. Right, are you carrying anything there, Chief? Nothing. Okay, right, well. Ch check the first person view of the city. Oh, yeah, brilliant, brilliant. Right, quick, quick, quick. There we go. Stood on the station. Uh, she wants to go to a shop. And she's going to ride the war boss in order to do... We're on the train! I hadn't tried that. Oh, whoa, just a just a smidge of clipperoo going on there. But still, we're on the train! Oh, I want to be that guy with the dungarees back there. Not his brother. I want to be him. That, this feels unsafe. I don't, you know, I've been on roller coasters that have... What? What's the matter with this lady? She can't get comfy. She's, you know, she's got a bustle on or something like that, or she's got a, you know, like a hat pin stabbing her in the bottom. Um, yeah, let's go that way. Even more that way. And then, and then, and then this way. 